Hey guys, it's Emily and welcome to day two of the Reading Rush. So today is Tuesday, it's about 7.55 a.m. and I am in a different location as you can tell. We are in the master bedroom so I thought I would bring you guys to a different spot today because I feel like the vlogs will get repetitive anyway because from Monday through Friday I'm working 8.30 until 4.45 and I mean there's only so much that I will be able to show you guys throughout those days so might as well like switch up the location. So yesterday I ended up making it to page 30 four of the guest list by Lucy Foley. So I didn't read a lot after I closed up the vlog. I think I read like 10, 15 pages while I was like editing and exporting the video. By the way, talking about the vlog, the first one is like super short. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer and I edited it and I was like, well, under 10 minutes. So I guess we got a pretty short and sweet vlog for the first day, but let me know if you prefer longer or shorter vlogs. I'll try to adjust in consequence, but yeah. The first vlog is kind of short, hopefully today will be a little bit longer, but I should be reading more so it should be a little bit longer technically. Anyway, so I read a little bit of the guest list as I was editing, well exporting and uploading the video, but I still woke up a little bit early this morning. I thought I would like wash my hair, but as it turns out it's not that bad, so I'm probably gonna wait until tomorrow to wash it because might as well make the best out of this new haircut, you know? <laughs> I got it all straightened and everything, so I might as well just make the best out of it. Anyway, so right now I think I am going to read a little bit because I have about 30 minutes before I have to start work. So I'll try to make a little bit of progress with the guest list. And by the way, if there's anything specific that you would like to see in these vlogs, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, they will probably get a little bit repetitive because there's only so much that I can show you during the week. So make sure to leave in the comments anything specific that you'd like to see, whether that's like a skincare routine, more of my house, more of the outside of my house. I don't know, just let me know and I'll try to make that happen. So now now let's dive into our book. Okay, so it's nearly 8.30 a.m. and I have to start work, but I did make it to page 58 of the guest list by Lucy Foley. So far I don't have a lot of thoughts, we are just being introduced to the characters, but I have to say I really love the setting of this. It's set on an island off the coast of Ireland. I kept saying Dublin in my TBR, but Dublin is in the mainland, so this is an island in Ireland. I... I messed up. Anyway, um, I'm really enjoying the setting. It's very eerie and like mystical and kind of like dark and twisted. You can tell something bad is about to happen. So I like that about it. But so far, like I'm not far along into it, like have actual thoughts about like the plot and everything because not much has really happened. So now I have to start work and I guess we'll continue reading this during my lunch break. It's finally lunchtime. So it's a bit later. It's actually like 1 p.m. and I'm taking my lunch break a little bit later today because I had to watch a webinar. So so I'll be eating lunch now and I think I'll have a little bit of reading time so I'll be able to make some progress with the guest list and after that this afternoon I have to call a client. For those of you asking, I am working in digital marketing for an agency and my boss is on vacation this week so I, I have to like take care of some tasks that normally he would take care of and one of them is calling a client and I hate phone calls so I'm kind of nervous but at the same time I have to do it because like it's blocking me and I cannot do the tasks that follow this phone call if I don't call that person but I'm kind of nervous so I, I have to prepare for that but other than that it should be going well my morning has been quite productive I've been watching other people's vlogs while I worked because one of my favorite things about the reading rush is watching other people's content throughout the week and so this is what I've been doing this morning I watched some vlogs while I was getting work done but now let's go eat because I'm starving <laughs> You know how that call was making me super nervous? Well, I tried calling the client twice and he's not responding. <laughs> so I guess it's not happening today. Sent him an email, but he's been avoiding me, I feel like. I've sent him like three emails in the past three days and he hasn't responded to any of them except for one to tell me to call him at 2 p.m. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but oh well. Kind of pisses me off though because like it's blocking me. Like I cannot do anything else until he 
calls me or like until we talk to each other on his project so that kind of sucks because it was due by the end of this week but at this rate I just don't know if that's feasible and like my boss is counting on me so I want to take charge and do that but I, I can't if he's not responding to anything I can't do anything about it so all right so our work day is finally over so it's currently like 5 30 work has been over for like about 45 minutes now but I have been making my way through the guest list but first let me talk about work real quick so the rest of my afternoon went pretty well the client that i was talking to you guys about ended up calling me back and i was kind of nervous at the beginning but it went really well it was super nice we had a great call like honestly it makes me feel more confident now knowing that i can do this like it's not as nerve-wracking as i thought it would be and that's great so yay but let's talk about the guest list so i'm currently on page 124 and so far it's very slow moving not much has happened plot wise a lot of what we've been going through so far is a character's backstory and as much as I I like a character driven story to a certain extent I'm more of a plot driven person so if the plot is boring the book is boring you know what I mean so uh, so far not much has really happened everything that has happened so far is like before the wedding and the murder happens during the wedding so like I kind of want to get to the point where we know who's been murdered and like we are trying to solve the mystery because that's the aspect that I'm most interested in like I don't care so much about the characters I just want to know who's a murderer why did they do it how are we going to come to that conclusion and just like more of the semantics behind the murder if that makes sense I just want to learn more about the whole murder aspect and I don't care about all of these characters lives <laughs> so far I'm just like okay but I don't really care about you so yeah so far like I, I like it but it's not something that I love like I don't foresee this being a five stars unless the ending really throws me off however I will have to say that the setting for this book is absolutely perfect it's so whimsical and like eerie and dark and I don't know there's like a mysterious aspect to it and I really like that about it I feel like it's very conducive to a mystery thriller the setting plays a big part in like the atmosphere of the book and I really respect that and I just really appreciate it actually because as I said I, it makes me more interested in the book itself like character wise it's not amazing but I feel like all the characters are quite unlikable so that may be like what the book is trying to do I'm not sure yeah so far it's okay it's not like fantastic but it's also not bad I find myself quite gripped by the story and I kind of want to continue reading so that's good so my plan for tonight is to hopefully finish reading the guest list or to make it to page like 200 at the very least like we need to make some progress with this because otherwise I don't think I can read six books in like seven days <laughs> yeah we need to like make some progress with this but if I make it to page 200 I would be satisfied Hey guys, so it's 8.27 and I just came home from a walk with my mom and my dog and I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because it's getting late and I need to start the editing process so that this vlog is ready to go up tomorrow. So let me update you guys on my reading progress because I have made quite a bit of progress with the guest list. So I am currently on page 188 of the guest list and so far like not much has really happened still. I'm almost 200 pages in and plot wise this book hasn't had a lot of action going on we're almost caught up to like the present time because this book is like told in like dual timelines I guess like there is the present day where we're following like little bits and pieces of what happened and then we have like the day before and everything that leads up to the wedding so far like the wedding has happened and now like we're almost caught up to the murder aspect of it but still we haven't found a body we don't know who died we don't know who did it because we don't know who died so far like there's something missing from this book action wise like I was hoping to have something that would be a bit more of a murder mystery like the murder is kind of a big part of it but it's not a bad book by any means like it's hard for me to put it down so it's gripping and it's a page turner so it's good but it's not a favorite of mine there's something missing from this anyway um that means that today i have read a grand total of 155 pages which is not bad by any means i didn't reach my goal of making it to page 200 of this however i have a feeling i might be able to get some reading done while i'm editing so if i do manage to read more I will update you guys in tomorrow's vlog that's for sure and yeah I will have to pick up the pace in the upcoming days because I need to get on track if I want to read six books in seven days this book 
can cover multiple challenges like I'm using it for the book that starts with the word the however I can use it for multiple challenges so I'll try to prioritize the books that don't overlap with this one well that this book doesn't cover if that makes sense so that at least I will have all the challenges covered even if I don't end up reading the six books that I had planned on my TBR I guess that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed it it hopefully will be a little bit longer than yesterday's vlog and let me know if you prefer longer or shorter vlogs and so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give this a big thumbs up that really helps out my channel don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss the upcoming vlogs and I will see you guys tomorrow bye